With the increase of the home values, now we find out that we can do two things on the homes. Now that you are a primary home or an investor, a lot of us want to find out what is a cash out refinance. How does that work and how can we utilize or leverage or money that we can pull out? I will explain that to you next. With the increases of the property values and the interest rate, the very low interest rates, people are still refinancing their homes. A lot of my past clients have called me and asked me, Sandra, how does a cash out refinance look like? What can I do with the money that I can pull out of my house? Remember that time that you told me that my house was an, invest an investment? Remember that you told me I can do so many things with the equity in my property? Well, this is the phone call and this is now the appointment that we have discussed with our clients. One of the main reasons people want to pull money out, that's what I found, it's one of the main reasons, is debt consolidation. Honestly, we have to lay the, uh, the cards on the table and find out how much debt do you have? A lot of people use that for debt consolidation. It can use it for leverage their money. It can use it as a tax write-off. You can use it to invest in a new business as well, or you can use it for more investments or put the money in the market or leverage your money in different things that is not yours on your property. Now, we're gonna talk about what the different things we can do with the money that you, you can pull out of your house. You can do a cash out refinance if your property has equity enough. That means that you have already made more than 20, 30% equity on your property. We cannot cash out more than 80% of the property or how much the property is worth, by the way. We call it loan to value. It's the LTV that we use. If we already have the 40% equity in the property, we can use that 20% because remember, we have to leave 20% in the property to leverage the money and pull it out. That might include also the closing cost that you can finance into the loan. That is one of the difference that you can do on the cash out refinance or any refinance, well, most refinances, and not on the purchase of the house. We cannot finance the closing cost on the purchase of the house. We can only finance the closing cost on the home on a refinance, which is a conventional, with a cash out, a rate and term, but not on a FHA streamline. That just to be clear. Now, debt consolidation, we have to lay down on the table how much APR or interest rate are you paying on all this? Have this debt already overwhelmed or passed over your threshold of budget or family budget that you can more afford? Sometimes it's a lot better to consolidate your debt in a lower interest rate than what you're paying and now be debt free and start fresh and new. With the debt consolidation, since you really are increasing the loan amount on your property or on your debt, you have to check your financial goals. What is really that you're looking for? That's why you need to sit down with your lender or with me, with whoever you choose and find out what your needs are. You have to make sure that once you clear off all your debt, do not go back to the same circle. I have some people or some clients that they come to me year after year and they really drain the equity on their properties and they end up with even more debt. Or maybe we don't want to get to the point where you cannot afford your house for everything that you pulled. Financial habits, it's something that we all need to work on. We can also use this money for home improvements. Now, sometimes our budget is very limited when we purchase the house. Now that we've gained the equity, maybe we're gonna upgrade the house, get the pool, maybe just put the new roof, the shingles, renovate the furniture, whatever your needs are, this really increases the quality in your life with your family. Sometimes, well, most times, when we build a pool, for example, you spend all this money 
and only the property of the value is increased by this much, not even half or not everything. So don't expect that everything that you put in the house for home improvements, it's gonna come to you as an equity because that's not most like it the way it works. But you have to keep in mind, what is really your need as a family, as a household? Is your quality and your family life better with that? That's something that we always have to see over anything. You might also want to pull money out of the equity of your home to leverage your money, to put it into maybe another property, could be into a new business, could be into put it in the market, money market account, and try to increase that and get, I don't know, a better interest or rate on return, maybe a double digits, that you can go with a financial planner and find out what is the best thing for you to do. Don't forget, you can also use this money as an emergency fund. We don't know when we are gonna need liquid cash for any contingency that it might appear into life, right? So we always wanna make sure that we are strong enough financially to leverage the money or just to pull the money into whatever we need. It's super important that you sit with your lender. Do you find out exactly what your goals are? How can we help you leverage that money, maximize the equity in your property? Remember, you bought this property as a single family residence for whoever did to leverage. It's really an investment. Besides that is the home where you feel that this is the family or the sanctuary of your family. It's two things at the same time. Enjoy your home and a good financial habit.